everybody. So today is a very special day. Today is Persian New Year or Nauru's. <laughs> what do you have to say? Happy Nauru's. Can you tell everyone how to say it in Farsi? Uh, well, there's a few ways to say it. <laughs> Probably like Eid Mubarak. Eid yeah. Mubarak. Yeah. Mubarak means happy. Congratulations. Means yeah. Means congratulations. <laughs> Lots of things. Things in Farsi mean multiple things. Yeah, it's a problem. <laughs> what else? What are some other ways to say it? Eid Shoma Mubarak, which means. Happy to you. New Year to you. Show mom means to you. And, yeah, formal. Or you. Uh, let's see. Are you mad impressed with my Farsi skills? I'm learning. That's about it. That's it? Yeah. Okay. Well, I Did had a request. Put any on <laughs> For the people. Do you mind grabbing my phone out of my purse? In the kitchen. Don't look at my butt. I had a request um, as we were showing, or as we were talking about Persian New Year last week, uh, someone requested that I show our half scene or table, um, which is part of the New Year tradition for Persian New Year. So I'm going to show you it and I'm going to tell you what everything means. Now remember the half scene um, basically means the seven S's and everyone to put seven different things that begin with S. Um, on the table. There's a lot of other things that go on the table as well, uh, but there's a basic seven that goes. So I'm gonna um, open up my little cheat sheet here. I'm gonna show you what everything is and then I'm gonna tell you what it means and we'll get started. So here's my half scene and you'll see there's definitely more than seven items on here. Um, how impressed are the Persians that I've done a half scene? They think First of all, it's impressive that you've done it. And second of all, it's impressive because it's better than like 90% of them. Not 90%. No, I've say, seen some really amazing I would ones. say about, okay, home setups, it's better than 90%. Thanks. Yeah, I, I disagree because other people have some really fancy stuff. But Maybe on Pinterest and like places that, you know, they're all fancy schmancy. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'm so. The... <laughs> The seven S's, the basic seven, are uh, Sanjed, Semenu, um, darn. <laughs> I can't remember the word for vinegar. Sad, okay. Yeah. Sanjed is the dried, uh, dried fruit of the lotus tree. Weird. Sad, is, uh, vinegar. And, s let's see. Sanjed... Stands for um, love and shelter and security. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Mm. Semenu is a wheat. Uh, basically, you spread, it's really hard to make, so no one really makes it. I was going to make my own this year, but everyone, even everyone's like, even Persians don't make their own semenu. <laughs> but basically, you sprout unpelted wheat, and you let it grow, and then you uh, cook it, and squeeze the milk out of it and then mix it with wheat flour and you have to mix it and mix it and mix it and mix it and it's like a week long process. <laughs> and you, have and you have to stir it for like six hours. It's crazy. But anyway, that's Samanu and it stands for strength and fertility. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. um, we have Sabze, which is basically that sprouted lentils right there. And that stands for rebirth and prosperity. Look at, look at the phototropism happening right there. What do you mean? You see that? Phototropism is when plants and flowers are attracted to light. Oh, yeah. You see how the grass is all going You're right. It's toward going the towards light. the light. That's pretty amazing. Photo <laughs> means light. It's my smart husband. Phototropism. Okay. Look, it's happening here, too. And then we have hyacinth. Hmm. It's just a sign of the renewal of yeah, spring. Yeah, it's a sign of renewal of spring. That's not one of the basic seven. Sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting sidetracked. We have sabze, which is a sprouted lentil, or you could do a sprouted wheat, rebirth and prosperity. Semenu is strength and fertility. Senjed, love, shelter, and security. 
We have an apple that's Seeb in Farsi, and that's for fertility, fertility, beauty, and health. Sir, which is garlic, and that is to ward off evil and promote peace and serenity. And Dracula. <laughs> and Dracula. We have sumac, which if you've ever been to a Middle Eastern restaurant, you've probably seen um, this in a like a Parmesan shaker on the table. It goes over rice. It helps with digestion. No, you, you, uh, it's, you put on meat usually because it helps. it's good for digestion. Meat and rice. Yeah, yeah. I like it on rice too, but some people just put it on the meat. Yep. And then, um, and that stands for the spice of life and victory of good over evil. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. And then the, I know more than the Persian does. And then there's serke, which is the vinegar, and that stands for patience and old age, because vinegar is aged. And P.S., I found this cool little container for it at the Hobby Lobby. What? what? Hobby Lobby! <laughs> so those are the basic seven S's. Um, another th- other things that people put on their table... They generally put coins, which is... Prosperity. For prosperity. In the new year. In the new year. And these are coins. Um, they're all kind of kind of meaningful. Well, I don't know where that quarter came from. But <laughs> these coins are from our trip that we took last year to England and to uh, Paris. And then uh, <laughs> this money is... The Persian went to his cousin's wedding in Vancouver. So this is Canadian money. So I try to put coins that kind of mean something. I try to put everything that means something. Mm-hmm. Um, and, I, you know, it just it makes me feel good. I, like I it. just use it as a change. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then people often put, like, prayer cards or prayer books or Bibles or things like that, whatever their religion is. And uh, candles uh, to represent, like, light of your life and stuff. These are actually candles... From our wedding centerpieces. So I thought I would add those since we got married in the last year. Um, People put sweets to, you know, signify the sweetness of life and things like that. These are like the best. These are called toot (laughs) in Farsi. And they're actually uh, marzipan. And the Persian absolutely loves them. And you should eat them because they're getting stale here. Not a problem. He'll he'll eat them anyway. (laughs) He loves them. Basically, they're just little balls of marzipan rolled in sugar with an almond sticking out of them. But they're special. They're not my favorite thing in the world, but he they're loves so them. He loves them. Eat the colored ones, though. They're, they're more fancy. <laughs> they don't have a different flavor than the white the ones. The white they're ones just... are way to other people. But well, now we're uneven. You're going to have to eat this oh, green yes. one. Oh, yes. I will do. <laughs> and these are coconut cookies and things like that. Personally, um, love their dried cookies. These are called nul. And they're uh, basically sugar-covered almond slivers. These were also these were on uh, the w- the table at our wedding. There's a they do a decorative table at, at Persian weddings as well, and this was on our table. It's just so a wedding treat. Though. I kept some of them to put on our half scene, and these are um, sugar and um, uh, uh, cardamom. They're called abnabot, and you put them between your jaw when you're drinking tea. So those are sweets. And then over here, um, well, we have the hyacinth, and we have tulips as well. That's kind of the same, uh, along the same thing as the hyacinth. And then colored eggs are a thing, too, which kind of really goes along with Easter, since um, we're Christian as well. The, that kind of ties in with everything. But colored eggs also uh, signify, like, a rebirth of spring and things like that. And then people put agile, which is uh, mixed nuts, and that is for health I'm and... Wrong, yeah. Um, health and something else. I can't remember what. But I put that in my, uh, this was my, this dish was my grandmother's. She, it was her candy dish that she's had, she had for years. She passed away in 1994 or 95. So I've had this for a very long time and it's special to me. So I thought I would put the agile in that and have that on my half seam. <clears throat> and then fish and water. Um, uh, some people don't put fish. Some people will get, like, a tray that's shaped like fish, and that'll signify the oh, yeah. fish in life. But uh, we wanted some pets, so we have three little fish in there. The water's a bit murky, but um, you'll see them. We had four, but, well, rest in peace. One of them died. So there's our little guys. Rest in peace, Pancake. <laughs> For some reason, he got the named time Pancake. Was ephemeral. <laughs> so that's our half scene, and I'm actually extremely proud of it. And this is... um. Both of these table covers, um, they're Persian, and the Persian's mom gave them to me. So those mean something to me. So I put those on my half scene. 
And some people will put pictures of people who have passed away and things like that. And uh, I have a Bible my mom gave me, and I meant to put that on the table, but it's not there. So I'll have to put it on there. But um, just, you know, things like that. That's our half scene. It's beautiful. Thanks, babe. Yeah. I was really happy. That's my tummy growling. I'm very. Oh, I don't think I don't know what it knows. Very hungry. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, Socks Heather here. It is Thursday night at 11 p.m. and I'm just now uploading my video from yesterday and today. As you know, it's been Persian New Year and it has been exhausting. <laughs> We had um, a party to go to last night at the Persian's Cousins, which lasted until about 2.30 in the morning. And then uh, tonight there was a dinner uh, with a bunch of people in the community, and we went to that and had a great time as well. I am exhausted. I got up today and tried to do some errands and things like that, and I wanted to get... Um, the salad dressing sent out to my winners because I haven't sent that out yet. I'm really sorry, you guys. And I just didn't make it to the post office today. So um, I have the boxes and everything to wrap them up. I was trying to wrap them up and put your addresses on them, but for some reason, Facebook was giving me a hard time and um, I couldn't get to one of your addresses because you sent it to me on Facebook. And then the day just got away from me and we had to be at the party. And so... I'll get them sent out, I swear. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's what's been going on. Um, I've been watching what I'm eating, but I haven't been completely tracking. Uh, but it's been mostly fish because the tradition for Persian New Year is to have uh, white fish or fish for New Year's. So I've had salmon and I had white fish and I had chicken kebab. <laughs> and then tonight I had uh, rotisserie chicken and rice. And other than that, it's been low point breakfast and lunch. If I even had lunch today, I didn't have lunch. So, no, I did. I had fish again. <laughs> we had leftover fish, salmon. It was delicious. I'm rambling because I'm exhausted. I'm going to go. And tomorrow we'll be back to uh, blog vlogging regularly. I'm exhausted. <laughs> tomorrow night we're having some friends over for dinner. I'm making the shrimp green curry that I've made before. Saturday... Uh, we're having a bunch of the Persians' uh, cousins over, and we're having a game night, and we're doing a make-your-own-pizza night. So that'll be fun. Um, and Sunday we have a friend's um, party to go to. They just got married. So <laughs> it's going to be an exhausting four days, and then Monday's back to work. In two weeks I leave for Philadelphia for a trip for work. So it's just things are getting crazy, and I just need to keep swimming. I just need to keep swimming. All right. You just keep swimming as well. I did weigh in. Uh, I told you guys I weighed in and I gained 1.2. That puts me at the road stop for uh, the Biggest Loser Challenge. Everybody else lost, so good for you guys. Um, but I'm not going to let that stop me. I need to just keep focusing. So that's the deal. Love you guys. We've been having a great time for Persian New Year. And we were on vacation last week, and I'm exhausted, and I'm rambling. I said that already. I'm going. All right. Just keep swimming. <laughs>